Your girl is finally off work. And today is the last day with hubby. I wanted to go to Whole Foods to pick up some some feminine care stuff because I saw Yasmin. She posted like a feminine type of ordeal like some scents that'll be good for women but i'm not sure what we're gonna do today so i'm trying to wait until my husband get back home because i don't want to drive today is his last day so in the morning which is saturday he'll probably be gone and yeah that is it this is my last week of training it has been It has been awesome. It has been challenging. It has been a lot of information. And next week, I am going to officially be on my own. And that's when the routine routines get the kicking in. That's when the meal preps get the kicking in. So I'm thinking about meal prepping the kids. A dinner for this week. Or at least a couple of days. And then I'm thinking about meal prepping me some food. Since hubby is leaving, it's going to be my first week by myself. So we got to make it. We got to make it do what it do. And my husband just got back. His truck is so loud. Let me show y'all his truck. Y'all can see him. He, he loves his baby. I will be driving that truck. My car is broke down. I can't afford it. I can't afford to get it fixed right now. I just have to be honest. So it is sitting in the yard and it looks terrible. It need to be washed. It's just so much, but we not about to stress about that because God is good and he make a way out of no way. Do you hear me? I'm about to get ready to go with my man. See y'all. Yeah, I love my bag so much. It fits my tablet, so that's what I wanted it for. A cute little backpack that'll fit my tablet. And it's, it's doing wonders. So, we're out. I want to go find another plant, but I don't know if Daddy going to have that today. So, she getting big. Like, this part is growing. I do want to wash her up. This leaf is falling off. Y'all, I don't throw my leaves away. What I do, I bury them in here and just let it become soil. It's sad. I don't want to throw them away. And see, I have a new baby coming up. I gave that one away. And look, she came right back. Okay, this is a quick vegan meal. And this has, it's a vegan chili mac and cheese with organic rice, pasta, tomatoes, and beans. So y'all know I've been sharing a little bit of my vegan journey. I don't know what Peyton is doing and where she's going with that on, but okay. So yeah, I've been sharing just a tiny bit of my journey with y'all. And so this is something I'm about to put in the microwave really quick for on the day because most of the places where we stop, I don't really be eating. Or I don't even have a taste for regular food no more. It's crazy. So, we're going to lavishly put this directly in the microwave. Play that Jesus bless it. Let's see. Thank you, Lord. Please take one inch, slit, over and wrap. And then cook on high for three minutes. And we wrap. So we're going to cook it for three minutes. Take it out and then cook it for one more minute. There's no foil. So yeah. That is what we're doing. And like I said, the reason why I'm going ahead and eat, it is 3.54. So I know about time. While we're out, we'll probably end up getting the kids something and i'm probably not gonna want to eat anything but some fries that's how i do now like my body my mind 
Got my body under control. Am I saying it right? We got a grip on on our um. That's why I think you can do every. I know you can do anything if you put your mind into it. So I feel like I got a grip on this. You know, I'm not easily tempted by things, and it's not just food. It's it's really a lifestyle change. So I'm not into the pescatarian. You know, I'm not pro animals and in, in that kind of aspect of it. Um, not saying I'm against any what anyone else do, but as for me. In my house, we will serve the Lord. So, if God said you can eat meat and he, he, anything he created, he blessed so that you can have it for enjoyment. I'm not going against that or anything. But, as for me, I just knew that this was something I needed for myself. If that makes sense. So, I'm not here to judge anyone else. And I don't want anyone judging me and my lifestyle now. But just support, cause it may not be for a forever thing, but it's just teaching me other things about myself. Like I am in control. I'm, I have more con control than I think, as far as like foods and all of that, and self control. Like I want to cry for some reason, but anyways, we're not going there. This is two minutes worth of talking. I'm going to show y'all how it looks when it's done. Simply because I'm already rambling. So. We just left the park playground. Um, but later we're going to Barnes & Noble. I'll probably bring y'all with me. Because I'm looking for a devotional. And yeah. See y'all. He waiting for me. <laughs> Devotion. They changed it. These are Christian books for kids. Here. Look at Payton out here, y'all. Y'all, it's a cat. Hey, girl, Payton. You fancy. Why y'all running over here? Oh, I got some goodies. I came here for devotionals. If the kids behave, we'll come back and get them some books next time. Yeah, we back home. And it is a late night haul. So. <coughs> y'all. Yeah. I'm just so excited. I love to be on my praying knees. Maybe I should just sit on the bed. Just sit on the bed, you know. Today, I was <coughs> going to the store to get a devotional to, you know, my husband gone. I can just, like, really dive into the word. And, oh. When he here, I do too, but it's just... Most of the time, maybe me and Jesus. And so, I met this lady at the store. At first, I was just, you know, at the store, Barnes & Noble, I was looking around. I'm finding devotion. But this random lady just came next to me out of nowhere. And I don't even think she was looking at everything. I feel like she was watching me. You know how you feel like somebody watching you? But you don't want to just be mean and rude. She was literally. And then she, I backed up, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm backing up. I'm like, oh, no, you're not in the way. She's like, yeah, I'm in your way. I said, no, you're good. And I'm like, it's, I just randomly said, it's so hard to find a devotional these days. And so she pointed out two devotions to me. And she said that they were anointed like supernatural anointed and one of them was her friends the other lady she knew and went to one of her like events or something <clears throat> and she gave me the two these two devotions which i'm so psyched for and she left and she um 
I said, this must have, must have been from God. And she said, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely God. You know, I was, she said she was predestined to beat her or something. And I was like, like, it's just amazing how God will send people at the right place at the right time. And then I, I felt the presence of God. I just started tearing up. I know where I'm like, oh, I'm all about to cry. Like, oh, I hope this lady don't see me crying. But it was something about her that I was just like. It's like I knew her. It's like I knew her, but I couldn't say it. I feel something about you. It's like we both just read each other. Like, we didn't even just... we. We didn't even have the words to say to each other. We were just both like in just present, just there. And we were just like, like, this is really God. <laughs> That's how it was. Okay. But anyways, this is me and husband's last day together before he go on the road. So I'm going to hurry up and show y'all these devotionals and haul that I, the stuff I got from Barnes and Nobles. And the first devotional is strong it's okay to be strong when i saw that in the first page like one of the titles said that it's okay to be strong and it says devotions to live a powerful and passionate life take a picture i'm excited about this and then they are she's a new york best-selling author i can't wait I'm serious. So the next one I got is 100 Days of Believing Bigger, devotional by Marshawn Daniels. I just found out about her, and this is the woman that I met. This is her best friend. And so I thought it was so cute, for one, that she was supporting her best friend. Like, I thought that was so cute. So I was automatically like, I'm definitely buying this book. But it's so cute. And she said she got like a hundred copies. Because she just loved the book so much. But this is called 100 Days Believing Bigger. I want to cry. Because I, the beginning of the year I started saying like this is my year. This is my year. And then this. And then I got these micro line pens for Bible study. And they're called, oh, it's just so cool. So I'm going to tell you what you color mean because I got time. Uh, yellow mean God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Orange mean grace, salvation, love. Green mean growth, new life, and faith. Blue mean evil, sin, temptation. Purple mean prayer, blessing, worship. Which Jesus had on purple. Pink means low, uh, laws, instruction, history. Red means Sabbath, holy days. Black, special to me. I'm definitely keeping this package. Microblade pins. I just thought that was cool. Okay, and then next. I feel so much peace right now. Okay. I have finally gotten some Bible tabs for my big Bible. Hey, I don't have Catholic. I don't know, know nothing about Catholic books. But I just got this. It's just cute gold and pink. Something simple. The last thing I got was metal page markers because I like the metal pages. I mean, I like the metal markers. At first, I was using metal paper clips to, like, keep up with certain stuff. But I saw these at um, Barnes & Nobles. And I'm into that right now. As bookmarks. They're so cute. Okay. Okay. And that's a little container I'm going to keep it in. So I'm probably going to use two of them for these two devotionals. Which I'm, excited. I'm super excited about these devotionals. So the last thing I got from there, because I couldn't leave my kids, I hope, is these little a brain game. 
so they can do a cute little puzzle um, for school so basically you build like it's a puzzle but you can build like your own little tower it's, it's like real a real puzzle so I thought that would be cool for them for school or just keep their brain exercising their brains so yep and today I am eating nothing but vegetables and rice we went to Chinese and this is what I have just vegetables and rice and a cranberry juice next to me and we're gonna probably watch a movie and eat see hubby off I can't stand this time it'd be so fun and then poof, he gotta go back to make the money Leave me. I'm not leaving you. I'm just going <laughs> back on the road. I'll be back. <laughs> you, yeah. Okay, boo boo, you do that. Fancy me. It's time for us uh, when daddy leaves, but we're gonna go to the park. We're gonna take his truck. Whenever we think about him, we just gonna ride in his truck, okay? Uh, what is his truck? <laughs> Mimi using it right now. Okay, y'all? Okay. Jake! Jake, come here! I hardly ever see him this sad. You ready to go to the park? You better come here and give me a hug. <gasps> you can hear you smiling. <laughs> yeah. I guess I miss daddy. I know. I come here. Come here. WJXN FM, Utica, Jackson, 93.9. the park we're at with my cousins. I look rough, y'all, but there's people running. Like, it's a huge walk and run area. While your kids are playing, you can be walking, playing tennis. Let me show y'all. Starts back here. Go all the way around. Just a big open space. It's, let me see, if you can see them two people walking way in the back. <laughs> this is all I me want to do. Huge. I go all around. It's very nice. Oops. We may walk before we leave. But I'm about to do some reading. And a little bit of editing. If I can. Wow. 
One day she goes to bed. Well, I used to jump off the screen when I was in school. Yeah. Every time I was in the swing. I was skipping the swing. What kind of thing? And you look like the junkyard. Nuh-uh! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, baby? You can eat where's it, girl. That's not fair. Mama, where's my water? I ain't got no gun. Yeah, you did. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Where's my water? Oh, yeah, it's red. Uh, Where's my water? Hey. Where's my water? I'm done. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do it. <laughs> That's red. Do it again. Yeah. You're like I'm a dumb. horse. No, you're not. <laughs> Over here, I bet you you watched this vlog. Cause you went it. <laughs> I watch all the vlogs with me in it. You do? Cause you think you're pretty? Mama, I told her to come here. You are pretty, you? you better tell them folks. Why I am pretty. Get the GoPro. Oh, the I really don't know. Go. No. You gave it to him. Do it. <laughs> I can't do the one thing. Hey, Luke. Did you I can't do that, bro. Come on, girl. Use your strength. Mommy, look. Mommy, let's see how you stay the longest. Like, we're from white. Yeah, you need some who's gonna stay the longest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I don't know what kind of exercise I'm doing. It's the lazy exercise. I'm gonna climb up here. Harmony and Jake playing in dirt. Jake, stop it. That's a good exercise, ain't it? See if you can go all the way around. You can't. That's scary. That's what I just try to do. And I'm too scared. Ain't no way. Look, Courtney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I need, no, I need to show you something. He's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't do it. Go back the right. Yeah, I can do it. Right. Mommy, I'm not afraid of pipes. That's because y'all distracted me. Daddy truck. Yeah, I'm scared of you. Yeah, I told him I was gonna take it to get EJ shoes. Stop, Jake. Stop, Jake. I'ma send that to your daddy. You like those?
Hey y'all. Um, I was thinking about making me a fruit, a juice, but I oh got how many minutes? I kind of just want to spend these few minutes just chilling. I may just have to wait. My husband told me I should start making it at night. So I may just have to find me a quick little vegan snack. Um, have this cauliflower mac and cheese bowl. And um, I think my husband left this. I think this was his. But don't mind if I do. I just have to buy him another one. <sighs> Y'all. Yeah. It's the first time like my head started hurting from this job. Like it's I'm enjoying it. I am. But I don't like that I don't know the system. Like I don't know it. Like off the back of my head. And that 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 kind of bothers me. I'm trying not to make it like that much of a big deal because it's literally my first week on my own. Like without assistance from our leads and our um, other peers. So I just have to be patient with myself. But. Yeah, just not, I just can't take too long, though, getting the system. I feel like, because certain things we are graded for, which is, makes, it just adds more pressure to me, but it's fine. God, God is the ultimate provider. He's my ultimate source. So I just can't just be stuck in that mind frame that, what if I lose everything because, of, you know, my screw ups but my whole provider my sole provider is jesus christ so mommy mommy let's just keep mommy. that in mind okay i am about to show y'all my lunch i did not get a chance to eat y'all it is so difficult to do that with children and then I'm working from home now, so. Okay. So let me show y'all my lunch for today. It is a vegetarian cauliflower cheese meal. This is all I had time for. I did show y'all the package. Y'all can screenshot it. And then with that. I am having a super food. This is not a smoothie. It's just a super food drink. And it is not, not great at all. Y'all know the little package that I showed you in one of these videos. It was a little package. One of the vegan videos. I got part one, part two. One of those. But it's a little pouch and it's a superfood. So that's the drink I'm drinking. On top of this. <gasps> yeah. So. After this. After I get off work. We normally go for walks. So. We're going to go for a walk. We may drive daddy's truck. We shall see. Okay, then. See y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So, I have to attempt to change a pamper. Before I get a call, y'all. This is easy. So, today we have Bible study. So, I may record a little bit of that. And then today I want to put on these press-ons. So after today, I might end this vlog. I know y'all saw part with my husband, part without, but I do want to do a weekend vlog because me and the kids are going to have an ice cream date if they do well for this week while at work. And 
Mm. We're gonna go from there, but I do want to put these nails on. So I'm gonna have to show y'all before, you know, when I get off how they look. But right now, let me change this pepper. Come here, Harmony. So they're whining when I get on the camera. So let me go ahead and get off. And like I said, later on, I might be more put together than this, but I will show y'all everything later. My nails, I might show y'all the Bible study assignment that I'm going to choose right now since my laptop is next to me. And okay y'all i did want to include y'all that i am doing a 100 squats a day thought i saw somebody walking i'm doing a 100 squats a day for maybe march and april if y'all want to join that would be fun fun that would be fun if y'all want to join since i am sitting down for most of the day, I do want to find ways to still stay active and just not lose that momentum. So, I'm starting with 100 squats a day. I already did 25. So, somewhere around before the day end, I have to finish 100. So, I did 25 this morning. Mm. I do want to add like push-ups or something. Or some, like, some type of arm and ab somewhere. I'll figure that out. But my main thing is 100 squats a day. Being that it work every part of your body just about. I thought that was that's a convenient workout. <laughs> For real. So, yeah. Y'all just let me know if y'all want to join. And, yeah. I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, so I am painting the Bible study kids a worksheet, and to, um, today is March, so we're going to do um, anxious kids kind of Bible study today, mm -hmm. and I'm excited about that. I've been feeling a little anxious myself, so mm -hmm. I'm just excited to see, you know, how they like this. It's just kind of like a... Thing. And I'm gonna bring bring a few crayons so that like you gotta lift them up. They can see. I like how they look like Nickelodeon. You gotta lift the Mommy. shirt. The pants. Like how we skirt. Yeah. Cute. Let me see the side. Got Aren't y'all cute? Look at the side, y'all. Ready for church. Look at the side. Cool. <clears throat> So Jake is waiting for the paper. You want to hold the paper for me? Mm-hmm. You going to hold it in the folder? You can't rip it. There's mm -hmm. some more got to print. Good morning, guys. So, y'all, I did not do my press-ons yesterday, but I need to get them done because tomorrow is Friday. And we want to have, like, a fun weekend vlog. Tomorrow, y'all going to see my little cousin. Well, is it tomorrow or Saturday? I don't know. But I'm thinking about taking them to five below. So y'all gonna see my little cousins. And um, yeah, I don't know what else we're doing. But I am, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, I did my studying. I got to do my 25 push-ups for this morning. I mean, sit up. Squats. Because I'm doing a 100 squat challenge by myself. Um, if y'all want to join, you can join. Do it your own little way. But, uh, oh, shoot. My knocked down the computer. But as for me, at my house, 
but yeah, I, I'm using this kettlebell, and that's what we're doing. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to do my personal nails today. I have been almost a week and a half without nails, and that's not like us. Like, I gotta get back to me. I gotta get back to doing me. Y'all had kids in my background. I mean, see the kids. Mavic, uh, can I get some more of them? So this our little activity. They like this. And that's what Eden is asking for. A few more. Make that work. So yeah, I don't want them to lose the pieces to that. I'm going to buy some more since they like that activity. And yeah. I'm just got one more piece to do. Oh. I'm getting some good feedback from my job. Um, she said that, stated that I sound like a natural. I am a natural. Not a natural. Boys will take you there. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna finish my nails. I'll just show y'all the after because we need our battery, okay? So I'll be back.